During the walk down here by the river, something came to my mind that I think is an outstanding opportunity that we all are having as creatives, as artists, and we are often forgetting about it. Because we are working in a field where we have an outstanding freedom, a freedom that can really boost what we are doing. Let me explain what I mean by this. When you are someone like a doctor or you are a lawyer, there is a special set of what is normal, what is the reality. But for an artist, something like normality or reality doesn't exist. And in this definition, what we have at our hand is to create for no better word for it, magic. I think great art is about magic. There's something that is making us standing spellbound before a painting. And what an outstanding opportunity it is that you can really learn as an artist to create something that's magical, that's going beyond the normal, ordinary, oh, what we are assuming is the reality. When you are looking at outstanding paintings from our art history, like the ones from Leonardo da Vinci, just imagine people are standing for hours in the Louvre and are spellbound because of one piece of canvas that is reminding them of just a picture of a woman. But nevertheless, it is so much more and this is, I think, the point where art has the allowance to create something that is going beyond their reality. What outstanding power it is to understand what you are doing as an artist, as, as magic, as you would create spells. And these spells can spellbound people, can influence their thinking what they are assuming is reality or what is uh, what is normal and I think to understand that you are not bound as an artist to create only with a certain set of rules but you have the freedom to go beyond this I think this is outstanding this is something outstanding that can really take your art and put it to a completely different level. The answers that are given by art, given by what we are doing, are about beauty. And I think beauty and the connection that we are as humans having with the beauty is allowing us to really create so much more, so much more than what normal crafts can create, so much more than what religious or scientific or supernatural thinking can create but nevertheless when they are creating something it is set by their own rules when you are creating something uh, as a religious person nevertheless there is one writing like the bible or the quran or something and you are spelled uh, you are bound by this this one book and when you are uh, uh, someone that's coming from the field of science, nevertheless, there are certain sets of rules that are bounding you what is normal for a scientist. And as an artist, you have all these different fields that you can put together and create something outstanding that is going beyond this rule. And I think for me, this is also why I have studied art because it is giving you so much more freedom so much free, more freedom by creating everything you like when you are connected to a certain source of power a certain source of inspiration there is no limitation what you can create and when you really think about it what is reality what is normal 
most likely it is a certain point of view, certain perspective of life then, what is normal, what is reality. And as an artist, you can just go beyond this. For artists who understand the special connection, it is easy to create insights for the things we humans struggle to comprehend in a way that have the same power like magic. And I think this is an outstanding gift. It's an outstanding gift that is given to you every morning and it's up to you to, to take advantage uh, of it. The influence on the human mind goes beyond logical reason or emotional mysticism. The art can offer both and much, much more. When you think of it, perhaps there was already something in your art that has a certain influence, almost like a spell and magic that was influencing the audience. And when you pick, you are picking the artworks that you have already created, and you are thinking about it, what was the one thing that was able to create this magic? or create even a spark of this magic and you are building up on it you are becoming better to influence people influence people in the way they understand reality what they are thinking is normal and in this is a great and outstanding power that is at your hand so if you have the time go through your artworks and try to figure out is there something already that has this touch of magic that was mighty enough in its energy so it could spell about someone and start to develop from there on what could you build up on it so you are becoming like more of a magician with your art and you are taking all the freedom that you are having to create even more magic. I hope this is an interesting idea for you and I hope you have the time to think your art from this this point of view because I think there is something that can really elevate your art to the next level. I hope to see you in my next video. Nevertheless, down below in the description you will find a link that will show you much more how you can allow more magic in your art and I see you soon. Have a great day. Bye bye.